uh, assault. Ah! <laughs> Did I have to do that? Don't to you? scream. Sorry. <laughs> you just validated what he said. Good start, boy. <laughs> I tried to listen to some classic rock. Um, you know how Theo Vaughn has a shine that light on me. Oh, I the love that song. song. Yeah. Yeah. The band is nuts. Really? Bad. I haven't. Oh, bad. Oh, they say hard ER in their song. Oh, no, they don't. I was like, let me listen to what Theo Vaughn's listening to. White guys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Holy shit. shit. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure it's classic rock? It's got to be. Shine that light on me. Nobody <laughs> would drop that now. I think it's like a That's like I think bluesy. It's a, yeah, country. bluesy country. Folksy, maybe a little bit. I, I was telling. I, I, know, I was not telling. The genre of hers. <laughs> then what are you? I am Quinn. I am Quinn. I was telling uh, them like I just saw a video on TikTok. It was this white guy. He's like, Oh, Jared. <laughs> he was like, You motherfuckers need to calm down commenting this, okay? I'm not racist. I just say the n word because I want to. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's my favorite because if he's recording himself, he's not afraid to lose anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, trust me, it didn't look like he had much to lose anyway. Exactly. Exactly. My favorite. You're just useless. Are we starting? What's up, guys? Welcome to The Bachelor episode 199 of Dropouts. This week, we have two women who are fighting for my heart. We yeah. got- oh my God. <laughs> I already don't like this. You we're might, doing just well. You yeah, might think we're going to be in a Gap commercial because of the diversity in this room, but no, oh. we are all going to be here for love. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, great to have these sweet, young, beautiful women here. Funny. Dimple City Population U, and we've got Smiles for Miles over there. I don't want to look at her. Right. <laughs> Please don't. Oh my gosh. You're like a fierce tiger. That is. A fierce tiger, continue. Is that bad? You can even look at him. No, it's, it makes me uncomfortable. I want you to give me stripes. <laughs> um, wow. uh, anyway, uh, we're going to talk about stuff. Hit the intro music right now, Alyssa, or I will. You'll never know what he's going to do. Uh, Quenlin wanted me to bring this up on the top. Um, pretty serious thing. And. She doesn't want to uh, talk about it after this. It's going to be a little scary. And she uh, might cry, but let's just move past it, right? I did not say yes to any of this. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon down below in the <laughs> description. Um, we do drunk episodes on there. Quentin, do you get drunk? No, but I'll get drunk for you all. Hell yeah. She's going to come on to a drunk episode. Uh, so come and subscribe. We also do prizes. Um, here's a little clip of the drunk episode. Um, my parents are really hard on me with my weight growing up. So... They were like some crazy things. Like they put me on Nutrisystems when I was like 12. <laughs> and like a thousand calorie diet. And then there's two crazy ones. My dad had me go to a cemetery and he, <laughs> he I want to get back to your model, mom. That no, has no, to have no. been so hard. The cemetery. Well, they, he had me walk around all, and look at all the graves. I was like sobbing, 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 like couldn't breathe. And then he made me start running and he's yelling out at me, run because they can't. <laughs> <laughs> He did tell me, he told me I had to stop telling that story. You also get the podcast a couple of days early. You get 20 to, or 15 to 20 minutes of extra footage after each podcast. Um, you also get a chance at wonderful prizes like Xbox and Switches and uh, AirPods every month. You also get exclusive merch uh, or early merch, I should say. And you get early tickets to the live show. Also, in case it's not sold out yet, we'll be in Boston. May 19th, I 19th. think. And um, if you're not there, I will take the Boston Celtics franchise and I'll throw it in the, a fire. So <laughs> that's something you got to think about. The whole franchise. Um, now they that hate I've, my kind. Who? Celtics fans. Is that true? What's your kind? Like beautiful young women? That's crazy. It's such a weird series. I mean, Black, I, they don't oh like my that. God. Why? I don't Is that know. true? Yeah. What happened? Allegedly, according to this Hulu show I was watching. What like, Hulu show? Is it like a docu show? documentary? No, it was um. It's <laughs> no, it's Hulu completely show. made up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Hulu show about um the Lakers and like their success and how they created celebrities going to the front row or whatever it's called. Yeah. And stuff like that, and then they were um their opponents were the Celtics, and they're like, get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's my racist voice. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is my racist voice. <laughs> You, you've been experiencing life recently, I assume. Elaborate, because what does that mean? He kind of made it seem like I just like, got an abortion or something. Like, took plan B. You've been going through it, yeah? Have you? Whoa. Oh, I thought no. you were talking about me right now. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you felt that? I was like, what? What did I tell you on the phone the other day? You were like, you've been going through it. And I was like, is she talking to me? No, I would never. You guys are reading each other's tea. minds. Is it true when girls are ovulating at the same time, you guys have telepathy? Or what's the deal on that? Jared was like writing down or something. You're doing research or something, right? Because Alyssa, you're ovulating? No. No. Who, who was it? Let me check if I am. Oh, yeah. Courtney. You know, 
Courtney was ovulating. Courtney was ovulating. was ovulating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pants, I'll tell you what, our dog can, can pick we? up on it. I'm not ovulating. <laughs> I'm not fertile. I'm not ovulating. It says the days I'm fertile and ovulating. What else does You're it say so on those days? <laughs> I was telling them how like my period tracker, I could like mark the days, like the days on my period and the days like you're intimate. Yeah. Yeah. How many times were you intimate the last month? I'm not putting this on the podcast. If you had to spitball it. I'm not putting this on If you had to count it and tell us the exact number. I'm not saying. That's crazy. See, I need to get like her though. The fact that you're saying I'm not saying instead of a crumb. I wish I could get a crumb. (laughs) That's what I'm feeling. (laughs) You're living the life, girl. Are you trying to find Hansel and Gretel's house? Like what's going on? Is it Sahara Desert right now? What's it's not on? the Sahara Desert, girl. It's very wet. But it's like... <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> girl, I'm like, what do you mean? That's what I mean. But, like, I mean, like... The dating life or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sahara Desert. No, I'm just fucking with you. Um, so it's not wet. It's wet. Okay. But the dating life is, I think, because I've been in a relationship for the past two years, my expectations are so much higher because I dated such a good guy that I didn't leave a relationship. Yeah. I was like, let's go to the streets because now I see the streets. I'm like, oh, it's kind of ghetto out here. Once you leave a very nice home, the ghetto is very ghetto. I do understand that in a way because it's like I came out of a relationship and I was like, well, that was really nice. Like we didn't end on terrible terms or anything. And I was like, it was fun. Like it's fun, but it's like. Yeah, it's every, every time that you experience another human being physically, you're a little bit like, I wish I would saved a little bit more flower for. My past one, you know? Is that what you're thinking about? No. I was just saying, okay, I understand Is that her. what you think about? Yeah. What the fuck every did time. that even mean? I feel like I have yeah. 12 roses. And every time I give one away, like I got to get down to my final one. That Is that your body wife. count, 12? No, actually lower. We talked about this last podcast. I think it was lower? Nine. Yeah, nine. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> she went, <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day. Less than you think. I, what do you think my body count is? Four. Okay, I, let me Thank let me you. do this. Welcome. Based on how you reacted to me, it felt like you thought that was a little low. So I'm going to go yours is a little bit higher. And this thing's about to fall. Um, 18? You just called me a fucking whore. Is that <laughs> really? Hard? I don't know if that's a whore. I'm just trying to compensate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm projecting. Zach, what are you doing, you man? It's broken, man. Hold on. You ladies like men that can fix stuff? Mm. What can you fix? But it's literally disintegrating. <laughs> okay, it's not doing well, but but wait, it's wait, wait, fixed. Wait, wait. Okay, so you recently got out of how long relationship? Or are you still in it? My relationship was two years long. I recently got out of it. We but, still live together. Oh, <laughs> I <laughs> smile after that. <laughs> it was cynical. How long ago did you guys break up? Mm, a month ago. How has it been experiencing living quarters with? A man. Well, wasn't she in Europe for like a month? Yeah. I have no girl, idea. Like, I'd be out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was in London. Peru. <laughs> Where? I was also London in- and Peru. Sorry. I, <laughs> sorry. It's just <laughs> Peru. Yeah. It's kind of um, the language we talk about. But it's fine because he was, he is such a nice guy. And if I was not as crazy as I am, I think I would have grown old with him. But can oh. I, am I allowed to ask why the passion dwindled? Um, just because we locked in. Like, you can't be in a relationship and be locked in all the time. What does that mean? Wait, locked in? I get it. You know what being locked in is. Yeah, I know what being locked in is. For it's two- very, a, a relationship, it's a 24-7 job, literally. If you, if you, I don't know, it is. And being locked in is a 24-7 job, too. And I chose my bread. I'm kidding. Um, it ended because I have terrible communication skills. <laughs> no, not you. I do. Yes, no, I'm telling you, I would have married this guy. I might marry this guy. But right now, I just need to lock the fuck in. The world's ending. Is it, was Everything it, will turn to ash soon. Lock in. Was the it public? Over. You scare me so much. Was, Every it, time. was it public? No, hell no. <laughs> Girl, I did one public relationship when I was in high school. No, I understand. It, I will never have another public relationship <laughs> ever again. I love him so much, but I would never do that again because it's like, it feels like the world is watching everything. Your breakup, you're together. You see edits all day. It's like, could yeah. you imagine? No, I posted one video with Billy and Odessa and the way people are like, I am a part of this friendship now. It's very personal. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And I couldn't imagine it with a relationship. A four and a half year relationship ending. Ooh. See, after three years, if I tell you to fix something, you need to fix it because you took too much time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What do we all think our individual flaws are in a relationship? Our own, not the other person's. So yours is communication. Communication issue, disassociation issue, residual childhood trauma that I need to go to therapy for. Before Which I you're can, in. Thank you. Clock that. Before <laughs> I can love somebody again. Okay. Or not love somebody again. Healthily love someone. 
Um, what else is wrong with me? <laughs> in a relationship, not in you. relationship. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know I'm amazing. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't feel that when I was on with just the all two. What you mean? <laughs> I was, it's nice having a nice I, presence because Alyssa's a little bit quiet, girl. Alyssa's yeah. on the computer type shit. Computer. <laughs> She's reserved. She, yes, yes. She um she just looks up at pictures of our guests. She tries to find leaks of them while we're on, and then in the middle of it, if we, <laughs> leaks. Yeah, if we find <laughs> if we find it during it, we play it just randomly. It's really fun. Oh yeah, I know. Speaking of leaks, they really need to do something about that deep fake shit. Oh, it's bad. you're telling me it's, as women in this industry. Have bro. you guys been deep faked? Yes, bro. Like videos? Do you know what the C Alyssa, tribute is? Alyssa, pull it up. A what? <laughs> a C tribute? No. Oh yes, I do. Have a you seen C them? Tribute? I have seen them. Yeah. What's I don't that? Even wanna, I don't even want to say what it is. It's, it's so really evil. obscene. It's, it's really, really obscene. disgusting. And it happens to. I don't know if it happens to men. I don't know if it does. I'm sure it does, but it happens to women way more. Okay, what it is is someone. And y'all can cut this out. Y'all can keep this in. Whatever y'all want to do. Can you use maybe different words yes, that of we course. can keep? Okay. I, I, Sesame Street. <laughs> that's what. That's what she just did, by the way, by saying C, C tribute. tribute. Okay. So um, a guy would take a picture of like a girl influencer they like or like a girl celebrity. Even just like a selfie. Even just like a selfie. And they jack off in, on the picture and then they take a picture of the picture with the... And they post it, it and they and tag you. guys you. don't find that endearing? No. No. Maybe from a... From a... <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Wait, what? I, I didn't... I didn't have, you, have you ever been like working on not telling some people things? Yeah. And then you have to stop it right before Yeah, you no, it? I get it. That's what... But can happen. you say it and we won't put it in? You want one? I would love one. I know. I mean, you want a C tribute? Oh yeah. You know how funny it would be? It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's way it's a different, lot different for, for a guy. Yeah. Because I would okay. show my buddies I'm like this dude's coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> how funny is that? Probably send a link to my mom. She get pretty mad at me, and I'd be like, "It's all right, mom. It's just bodily stuff." Um, no, I think the scary thing is like they could show up somewhere, and it's like you have that level of attraction to me, and I don't know you, and like you could show up in front of my house or some shit. Yeah, I've had people show up to my house. Yeah, that's. What do you guys think about the parasocial relationships that people create? Because I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's okay no. to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking shit. I think it's okay to a certain degree too. Do you guys have any with anyone, or did you ever growing up? Parasocial? No, I was like a big fan, but I was never like invested in people's lives like that. There was a funny update or like post on like the dropouts Reddit where somebody, they posted something about like the bench. They're like, they should get a different bench. And then they made an update to that post. They're like, update. I realized I'm Zach's age and I'm way too invested in these people's lives. <laughs> I'm, really I'm going to take funny. a break from the internet. <laughs> That's really funny. He's like, I shouldn't be commenting about a bench. She goes, yeah. I got to reevaluate some things. Yeah. I, think, I, I, love think, I, think, I think there's something wrong with commenting about the bench. I think it's actually kind of nice. It's like you want to take a break from your own life and be like, oh, these kids need a new bench. <laughs> But it's when it's your personal life is when it's an issue. Yeah. Like when people think I'm in love with Zach. <laughs> no, not not think. They know they, they you're know in love, I'm in with, love him. with Zach. They know I'm in love with him. I mean, it's oh, I thought you were admitting to it. I said, no. wake up, wake up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When you said, witch, <laughs> witch. That was so funny. Burner. That was so funny. Yes. There's this TikTok that Quinn made and it was like, this girl That's was using. <laughs> so dumb. What? He just continue. He's just derailing with a stupid bit. I'd rail anybody. There was a TikTok of a girl making a TikTok to my sound where it was like, what was it? It was like a Tari Yummy one, whatever it was. Uh -huh. And this girl spun her head in a circle. Yeah. Complete Wait, what 360 the fuck? of her oh, head. I didn't pause it and see if she Can like, we pull it up of Quinn? It's like, yes, look it's, up her TikTok. It's my, it's my TikTok it's, I posted it's, yesterday. It's, the it's my favorite TikTok you've ever made. <gasps> and you literally point, you're like, Ow! your what? favorite? Yeah, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> How long have you guys known each other oh, or of each other? I think I've known you way longer than you've known me. Really? Yes, girl. <laughs> I've known you since Vine days. Thank you. Um, I knew of you through mutual friends, um, David and Ian. Yeah. So I've known about you for like four or five years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I've known about you for a little longer than that probably. Yeah. But like no known about you like four or five years. And then uh, the first time we met was in passing here. Yes. And then mama's been a busy girl. I'm sorry. I've been a busy girl too. Yeah. And now we're finally getting a talk in. I know. Well, we got to talk earlier. Does it make you feel comfortable, yeah. Jared, when they're hanging out? Just two mamas talking? Yeah. I don't want to be I a feel mama. right at home. I can, pause, I pause, 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 pause. <laughs> I don't want to be a mama. No, but ever? I don't think I ever do. I think, but you just called her a mama. It's oh, the it's, spinning head one. Oh, but. oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yes. yes. Do I believe in ghosts? No. What the fuck? Witch! <laughs> Witch! Witch! <laughs> Witch! <laughs> Witch! <laughs> 
witch! 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 It'd be so funny. So funny. Thank you. You are so good. Thank you. You are so funny. Thank I know you. it's not even much, but just the way you just kept fucking burning. <laughs> yes, because that's what they would have done, and then they would have burned her. I would have been burned to the stake if I was living back then. They would have killed your ass. Oh, so quickly. <laughs> they would have killed me, too. They would have burned together. We would hold hands. Like, <laughs> it would have been funny to see you at like a corporate dinner, and everyone's going like, oh, what do you do for your job? Oh, this is the sales portfolio. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what? And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> See that? Wait, wait, guys. Hold so this on. is about my friend. Okay, so she blew up on TikTok. Well, okay, yeah, what's how do you TikTok? explain that? So her head, and you're just that's be hilarious. No, it's happened many times. How did like, I, people are like, "What's your job?" <laughs> and there's there's this there's this video of me where I'm like, um, I don't know. This guy was doing a, a really strong pose. He's like, dun, 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 dun. he said something crazy, and I did the same pose, but it was my hand in my vagina like this, <laughs> and I had it through my leg, so it looked like my he could bite. <laughs> oh, I've seen that one. And then that's I, so and good. <laughs> bleep out. And then I put a and then I put an egg right here and I was like, this is real steel. So it looked like my crotch broke the egg. You are seriously one of the most funny people I've ever met. <laughs> Thank you. You're making your vagina talk. <laughs> Zach, why are you speechless? I got you speechless. No, I just didn't know what to Thank talk. God. I, can I talk? Can I have a conversation with it really quick? No. Whoa. If you went into the bit of me talking to it, pretty funny. <laughs> Let's just all be honest with ourselves here. I could have a full, nice conversation. What would you say? I just I just know it's been through a lot. This is how all of his jokes happen. It's like, well, it didn't give what it was supposed <laughs> to give. And then and I'm, I'm sorry. I just got to come on next week. Hey, guys. Uh, so obviously last week you guys saw the clip of Quentin and I spoke about her, um, you know. Genitals. Genitals getting what I thought was consensually rammed through. Yes. Um, and instead you guys took it in a way. Poor that, use of words. Which we've I like, all been. I thought it was funny. Thank you. But you should get like a bucket of tomatoes. So when you say <laughs> stupid shit, a guest can just throw one at your face. I do have um, issues with acidity. So it, it could cause me Acid to- Acid reflux. Yes. So if we can maybe switch it out for anything else, that'd be great. Well, what if we get like the ones that are like stress balls? And See, then that's that okay. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, okay. Boom. Bada boom. I'm, Bada gonna buy, I'm gonna buy them right now. What else are you Wait, looking to? I love that. Um, just guys with like really big beaver teeth. I um, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you just validated what he said. Good <laughs> Because we, we need to play her the song. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what play song? the song. Wait, what? wait, I wanted to hear my song. You have a song? Oh God, we're gonna... Well, not we're the one I was doing. Not that like, one. Okay. I made a song for Tara. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. here. On the last podcast. We'll okay. just do it just do it here because we just talked about it. What's the after school special? You're gonna be on it, sweetheart. We're gonna sit there. I like sweetheart better than mama. Um, you called her mama, and I thought you were two mamas sitting on a bench. She, she could call me mama. Yeah, that's different. But you said you didn't want to be a mama, so I don't get why you're calling people mamas if you don't want to be one. Because She's disrespecting you. This you don't is even know the her. realm you have to, of girls. You have to give her the context. I'd love to be in there sometime. You have to give her context of the game we play every day. Mm -hmm. I come here so you can. Okay, okay. So every yeah. time that Tara comes on the podcast, we play a game. I say come on the podcast as if. I'm not on the podcast. Uh, every week. Yeah, we like you're permanently. Yeah. yeah. Every every week we, we say, uh, Tara, where did you, you wake up this morning? morning? And it's a fun game. It's a game. She play. loves it. Oh, you love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. fun because I mostly usually say this, my house. But whenever yeah. she doesn't. Whenever I sit good. there quietly, I'm like. We throw a little bit of a party. Oh, yeah. I love this. Um, and she never really wants to wake up on her own. Like she gets pretty sad if she wakes up in her own bed. Because like. I like we, sleepovers. Exactly. Um, so Zach made me this song. The okay. tomatoes have been bought. Yes. <laughs> uh, what do I, I'm playing Jared's or? Uh, we're going to play, let's play Tars first, if that's okay. Totally up to you though. Wait, 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 stop. <laughs> it's not him. Okay. Oh, it made me cringe so hard. I thought it was him. I thought it was him. I was so scared. Okay, here we I didn't make a song with AI. Wait, restart it, man. Kind of good. This is good. I love this song.
This is fire. So the beaver teeth thing, Jared's song. <laughs> So my song. song has the line. Uh, this is you? No, 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 no. no. This is a, that's AI. AI. Uh, <laughs> 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 I can't. I can't. She goes, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm like, the world's in it. You, darn, you, you darn kids. Dude, AI is the Jeffrey, je <laughs> AI is the gentrification of the human race. Boom. <laughs> ate him up. Um, I ate one of those gumballs. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> One of our gumball? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, those yeah. are fucking We hide rocks in one every thirty six <laughs> of them. I probably got Ouch. Hey Jared Bailey, don't you be afraid. <laughs> I like that. I'm being waterboarded be right now. And your heart's so brave. <laughs> You've been hiding in shadows, but it's time you break free. <laughs> so dumb. There's a world out there where you can truly be. So embrace yourself, Jared Bailey. Let I your can't do this no soul. more. <laughs> you don't have to hide anymore. It's time to explore. Life's too short for regrets. It's time to be true. You love kissing boys, and that's perfectly you. Shout it from the that. rooftops, let the whole world know. Turn this whole song shit off. <laughs> Hillsong music. Cut it. Cut it. Um, it is about gay rights, though. You're on a winning streak, and that one just shot you down to negative one. <laughs> Listen, that one, that one's not gonna be released. That one was to, like just get. I had to get the flow out. I had to get right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I had to get down that tunnel. It was the interlude. Yeah, yeah. That was my <laughs> interlude, and nobody ever listens to that. I listen to interludes. You listen to interludes. Um, that means like that 20 second song before the song, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes if it's an album. What's your favorite album lately? Fuck, I don't know. Is this a boring answer? Nice. <laughs> this this Say your boring answer. I don't want to. Oh. Why? What is that? <laughs> I feel oh. like it's gonna just like Do go down a rabbit hole. I'll tell you mine. Yeah, I'll hear yours. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> no, this one's stinky. Sad. This one's stinky. I want that. Yeah. Um, well, I'll name that one. No, it's Beth. Okay. I'm good. Um, no consent. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> 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 um, I've been listening to Cowboy Con. Oh, I was going to say, I like Cowboy the Jolene um, interlude of that. Yes. I That's love the one I was thinking about. Well, you know what's crazy? I think last time you were here, we talked about, did we talk about Shibuzi? What Do you remember that? that? Was, was it her? Yeah, yeah. I think last time you were here, we talked about, oh, our friend Shibuzi. I don't remember why, but he's on that album. Oh, fire. It was kind of crazy because last time we talked, we talked about it, And then next time you brought this up, he's on the album. Anyway, if you guys listen to the new Beyonce album, check out Shibuzi. He's doing great on it. So. Fire. Good for Shibuzi. It's a very good album. The first song made me like feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know those songs that make you feel like your soul's ripping out of your yeah, chest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got to listen good. to this album now. It's pretty but, good. I don't like, like country, but it's Beyonce. Right, same. I used to like country down. Really? When I was 12 randomly. Like, you know those you weird- You went through a phase? Mm -hmm. I get it. I've been kind of the same all my life. What? Fire. But I, I do go through little phases here and there. I went through like a weird EDM phase when I turned 18 where I went to like raves. Do you know how to do a little skipping shit? Oh yeah, like the <laughs> dancing. I know like how to pl the plur. Why is he, do what, what is this? Did you not know this? What? Why are you know starting No, I just, that? I didn't know you had an EDM. Um... A little one. Oh. It was like a month long. <laughs> yeah. And I went to um, the New Year's rave. What's it called? Um, Countdown. And yeah. <laughs> oh, I wait, I missed wait, 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 what's the conclusion of the story? That was wonderful. I love stories that really ramp up and you feel like you're about there to go down. No, there is no, um, actually fun fact, it was one of my first vlogs ever. And then I took it down because I got like a hundred views. And they were maybe there in the beginning. I think it was just people from my high school. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a weird phase I went through. Did you get made fun of in high school for releasing no. videos? What about probably yourself? Probably behind my back, but. Probably got made fun of behind my back. To my face, everyone was nice. Same. No trauma, huh? No, that's no. trauma. That's even worse. You find out about it. Oh, you did find out about it? Yeah. Oh. How do you See, guys I didn't find out about it, but the behind your back trauma is the worst. Yeah. How many services do you use where you sign up and then you get money back? Imagine just getting free money. And the best part is it was already yours that had been stolen from you because of the subscriptions you don't know you are using. Rocket Money can help you get your money back back. Jared, tell him. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. Actually, when I first signed up for Rocket Money, I think I had 
like $500 in subscriptions that I wasn't aware of. Think how crazy this is. On average, Rocket Money saves its customers $740 a year. You, that's mind blowing. You're signing up for a service and it's like, yeah, I'll take $740. I, it's so hard to pitch that you get free money because it's so self-explanatory. Oh, you could buy this, you could buy. Yeah, I don't need to say all that. Go get your money back with Rocket Money, all right? And Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is to submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with the customer service for you. Stop wasting money on things you don't use and cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. That's rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Get your money back, rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Thank you, Rocket Money, for sponsoring this episode. Sports money. Two things I love. What if we could do them together? And you can with Prize Picks. Tell them, Jared. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winnings roll in. You can now win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks as you and the world's best players take on the game to a new level during basketball's postseason. I personally hope the Lakers make it all the way, so I'd probably throw my money on them and then 100x my money, but you know, I'm not an expert. That's right, Zach. With as little as four picks, you can turn $10 into a thousand with basketball, hockey, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks. Again, America's number one fantasy sports app. For me, I'm going to go Anthony Davis for more than two blocks and Damian Lillard for, uh, I'd say, more than four three pointers in a game. And if you want to follow Zach's picks, all you have to do is go download the Prize Picks app. App today and use our code dropouts for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars again download the prize picks app today and use our code dropouts for your a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars prize picks thank you for sponsoring this episode pick more pick less it's that easy prize picks thank you would you ever hook up a Zach? fuck no <laughs> maybe if i was drunk and <laughs> insecure <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Drunk <laughs> and insecure? Down. <laughs> Sign me up. You're so like, sounds like a good idea. Um before you're drunk though, do you mind signing a release that says I wouldn't mind having Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll give you consent for him. Okay, cool, cool. Because I don't want to get in because once you're drunk, you can't give consent. I learned I that in school. Yes. Yeah. You went to a good school. Thank in you Texas, so much. they were like, get them girls and get them fast. <laughs> get and we them were all like, no, them. no. <laughs> Get yes. them girls in, get them fast, make them read, I'm not read their pass. To this, actually. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not dancing to the sexual assault <laughs> song that I just made. <laughs> yeah. The South is scary. If anyone grew up in the South, I know your pain. I grew up there. I can tell. I had a great time. <laughs> I grew, grew up in Southern California. <laughs> Very <laughs> similar. Girl ever. What? Very similar. Mm. What? No. Do we have games we're going to play? Can you announce it like you're. Um, you just announce it. No, can you announce it kind of like. Your Bruce Buffer. I don't know who that is. Go ahead. Here we go. Okay, so oh, we're going to play a game. No, come on. No. Please, this means the world to me. No, it doesn't. I could die tomorrow. No, you won't. No. You gotta, yes, I could. You got to put on they the love. cheering sound effect and then go like full force into Here it. Here we go. All right. <laughs> He's a little cringy. <laughs> How's the game work? Okay, so I'm going to uh. read you some statements and then you're going to decide whether they are cute or they are cringy. Is this oh a, in a relationship God. or is this just in general? Yeah, in a relationship. Okay. Or, I mean, some are obviously in a relationship. Some can just be in general. Gotcha. <laughs> I feel like this game is so dependent on whether you like the person or not. And that's wonderful. Mm. That's why we get different opinions. You know? Like, like yeah. if you like the guy, everything they do is cute. Yeah. And if you're, like, kind of off and we're like, oh, that's so gross. Especially you, were like, in that so gross film takes over your eyes <laughs> when you leave the relationship. Mm. And you're just like... Not my past relationship, love him down. But previous what relationships, huh? What was his name? Jared wanted to know his name. I didn't oh. want to know his name. Maybe a picture. No name. I've seen guys that I dated without the the spell of love. Rose colored, gl the rose colored glasses. The rose, period. Yeah. The rose colored glasses. And I'm like, yuck. Right. Yuck. <laughs> yuck. Ew, girl. Right. Okay. Cute or cringy? Posting happy one month anniversary. One Whoa, month. Oh, cringy. One month. Cringy. That's some same booth at a restaurant behavior. Wait, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there is. There is. I like same booth. What same booth? When you sit on the same side of the booth. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, because you get to like show each other stuff. 
Yeah. I used to be like against it. And then I'm like, wait, like logistically, I like it. What are the logistics? You get to like show each other stuff on your phone and like be close. Oh, I never even thought about it like that. I I think the new, it's new to show someone something on your phone. I think in the past it was kind of just, you know, we're expressing our love in a way that makes everyone else feel uncomfortable. Sure. Which, but now. Logistically, do you get it? I, I get it now. Okay. But would I walk into a restaurant and be like, come on guys. And then keep walking a hundred percent. I used to be like that, but then I was like, I liked it. Okay, so do you think one month is cringy or cute? Um, it matters on if their Instagram is private or public. Oh. Because mm-hmm. if you're a private IG guy. That's fine. 30 to 100K followers and you just want to tell the world, like, I'm so in love with this girl. Then 30 I, to 100K? No, um, 30 to 100. You said Period. K. Um, see, I hit the pin before I came on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like a small Instagram small private. Small Instagram private is I wish fine, my name was Penn. You want me to hit you? No, I'm like right. hit it. No. Uh, and oh. I want to feel something. I want her to oh, punch me in the smacked? face. Yes, is that okay? Dude, you're so deliciously deviant. What uh, the fuck? <laughs> Dude, there goes I, the vocabulary count. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? He loves I, using big words. That's grounds for literally, uh, uh, what's it called when you get someone from away from you? A restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> hey, think of it faster next time, all right? I can't think fast right now. I hit the pin. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, cringy for Zach Justice. Okay. Orders off the kids' menu. I don't know. Like, why would that be cringe? Are they just not that hungry? <laughs> you were speechless. <laughs> well, for Jared, really that's like that's just what he's used to because they have to, right? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. What? That's it's not funny. What's not funny? The pedophile jokes. I was what? I was yeah, exactly. None of us were thinking it. That, you were thinking it. No, that's where your mind's at. That's exact. You know what you were doing. Do I? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They call him Brian Peck in the streets is what they call him. Nah, um, they call him Mr. Rogers. <laughs> well, Mr. Rogers was a saint. Because he's jolly. I know. Oh, I thought you were insinuating Mr. Rogers was a pedophile. And to that, I would go to bat. I know you would. I, have you seen the documentary for Mr. Rogers? Black people's Mr. Rogers turned out to be a Bill Cosby. You know what Skyler did? That? Have you met Skyler? Mm-mm. Okay, so the other day, he uh, his girlfriend was like hey can you get me something while you're in vegas like i don't know she just wanted a memento something cute and he comes back with a signed picture of bill cosby that he found for 30 bucks <laughs> like bro i don't take this to court i don't know what to do with this document she's very thrown back by it jesus now that we think about it that might have been a bad joke <laughs> um <laughs> poor taste poor t- rewatch this one let's rewatch this one what was the question Orders off the kids' menu. Might, well, it depends if you like a big boy. Like, you like a dainty little flower that'll get lost in the wind. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Do you like that or do you hate when, that one? No, he, she, have you seen the guys that she goes after it? No. They look like a strong gust of wind could take them 30 miles east. Oh, you like them for real? It's okay. one guy. Oh, like, y'all, stop being haters. They're all kites. <laughs> I'm Come not on. gonna laugh unless you love me. <laughs> you can laugh at okay. me. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm gonna. I want to say the names of guys I find attractive, and I want you to bleep it. And I want Quinn okay. to see if, like, let's see, is yeah skinny. <laughs> He's tiny. No, fine. Thank you. Do you think? Say it. Yeah, I get it though. He's hot. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? I'm not saying the one that. My ex isn't tiny either. No, that's a big he's, that's a big one. He's tall and has arms. He's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, skinny. He's not a quadriplegic. He's skinny, but he's like You didn't win any arguments by anyone you told me. But. What? Yes, I did. What men do you think are hot? <clears throat> me? Um, I haven't been attracted to him yet, but if I were to be So who are you two judge? He's gonna say Brad Pitt. Oh right. my wait, brother. Wait, 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 Come wait on. pause. Wait, I don't understand what the point of that was. I'm showing Quinn that they're not all like teeny tiny frail men, like they were kind of options, in my opinion. Thank you. And I like dick. You don't. Allegedly. I'll get into it. I knew. That's why I said allegedly. If it's a decent weekend, I'll get into it. I know you will. I can see it. I can see it dripping out of your pores. Thank you. <laughs> dripping out of your pores. Who's editing this? Me. <laughs> I do have an oily T zone. <laughs> I know. I'm so. I literally got um, a chemical peel before it came. Yeah. How was the back thing that you did? The back. It's so red right now. You have to I pull got it off a, them after a, I no, crazy it looks good. peel on my face. No, you look great. Thanks. But I'm a little. Iridescent because my skin's like. That's a cute right name. Now. <laughs> iridescent would be a cute name. Yeah, come here, iridescent. Mm. It's too hard to say. That reminds me of iridosaclitis. Yay! <laughs> Throwback. Do you want a trad wife one day? A what? Ooh, a trad wife. No, I, I don't think you would like it. Really? Yeah. What the hell? No, can you guys wife? explain this to Jared? How do you not know? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know what we're talking about. A trad wife is like a traditional wife that cooks, cleans, stays home. 
Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Not like stays home. Stays home. No. no. See? I, I really like a girl with ambition. Yeah. But I it's also know. hot if they can cook. But I think you also want somebody who can cook and clean. No, the cleaning I'll pay for. But, but <laughs> okay, like, he's rich. It's I like cooking with my um, woman, woman of interest. Well, with is different than like a tr- you're, no. So you it don't is want really sweet. If I come home and she's like, "Hey, I made you this meal," that you're well, really yeah, like, yeah. I'm but like, do you need someone to like cook from scratch every single night? And like, no. I would love it. I'm not against it. Like, who would be? If you were with the guy that cooked no, every night. No, I wouldn't be against it. But oh, it's, saying, it's the best. But is it something you're seeking, like a trad wife? Like oh, someone no, that's no, like no, traditional no, no, no. Like I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm looking for the, the 50, 1950s wife. I'm looking for somebody yeah. with, the, uh, you're you know looking I mean? for a modern woman. Oh my gosh. Good, good, good. Yeah. That's not that weird. there's anything wrong with trad wife. But if they can cook, that's great. I am so in. There's nothing yeah, better than coming home and like someone surprises you. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. And also off the podcast, super sweet guy. You should know that. Yeah. And fix your set, though. Yeah. That literally made my heart drop to my I know, stomach. but it's true. That's what sucks. Fix your, your septum, though. What? My what? Your septum is going a little wonky. Just oh, make sure you. it's. I just want to make sure it's nice. Um, <laughs> next. It still chills. Yeah. Adding your significant other's name to your Instagram bio. Oh. Brother. Cringy. If my significant other has a hundred million, put me in that fucking <laughs> <side>. Now! <laughs> and a link to everything I'm doing, bitch. Put your link tree in there. Yeah, literally, put my link tree in there. Okay, now I feel different about it. So if I saw... Um, <laughs> because you can get some sort of gain from it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I think it was, it'd be super cute if I saw like Ryan Reynolds put in Blake Lively. Be like, yeah. this is my wife's what a bug company. And be like... So cute. Yeah, exactly. No, but this is name. This isn't linked tree bed. If it's just like it's name. If it's a name and a lock, I don't think I'm into it. <laughs> That's what I think Alyssa meant. Yeah. The I was just tree. thinking about it capitalistically, but I love that. Get your well, bag. <laughs> yeah, with love. <laughs> with love. With love, no. What do you think about speaking of capitalistically? What do you think about women who only text in lower cases? I like it. I think that's what I do. do it's I? kind of, it's hot. Why do people give a shit about that. <laughs> I have never understood that. I, I don't know <laughs> no <laughs> texting in all lowercase. I just don't understand. I guess it's an aesthetic thing because you have to go into the setting, take off capitalization because it automatically does it. Yeah. So it's just kind of funny like, to s- think of a girl sitting there and be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to text them like I want. It's just kind of funny to me. You know? Interesting. Are That's you a- wearing a police badge necklace? Oh no, it's a dog. No, it's, it's my dog. It's a bulldog. Dog. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like. I would have already given you a citation. <laughs> <laughs> the side eye. I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I was like, no. Bro. He never takes it off. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. I just love him so much just because, like, he's my best friend. And a lot of time, I I'm not great at human connection. So I really feel like someone who kind of just understands me on a feeling basis, like when he sees me, gets really excited. He's handsome. Yeah, yeah. It just feels good to have someone in your corner, you know? As if, if as he, if we're not his friends. Yeah, I know. As if we don't give a fuck. As about if we're him. fucking chopped liver. Right. He's like human connection, and I felt like a genuine soul behind him. And then after the end, at the end of the sentence, he winked at me, and I'm like, he am I being? It. Yeah, yeah. Am I being emotionally manipulated by you all the time? I don't think you're being emotionally manipulated. I think maybe I'm just having my guard up a little bit, and maybe <laughs> I gave in a little too much to you, so I gave you the wink to like, oh yeah, he is a bad guy. That way you don't get too much in, because then we're gonna become best friends. We're gonna be hanging out all the time, and then you're gonna get stuck on the podcast like I did. <laughs> See, I don't want that. Look at Tarzan. I'm literally right chained to this bench. <laughs> <laughs> why are you? Why are you sitting like? Relaxed. I'm comfortable. Shit. Tuh? And what are you putting on? Seaweed. Oh. Fermented seaweed. Oh shit. That's, I was like lip gloss, but this is actually a lot bougier. This is fermented seaweed. So in your mind, you just thought I need some. And put lip gloss on after it. Hit me with another one. Um, <laughs> no promo. Bleep it. <laughs> Stealing something off of somebody and refusing to give it back in like a flirty way. Like what? whenever. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought like, it was. Oh, I like... got your hat. Yeah, that kind oh. of thing. No. Got your guy. nose? Got your nose. It's white. That's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it? Not mine. Ew. <laughs> that one's not That's yours. when you would need the tomatoes right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomatoes, yeah. tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, stealing stuff, I think it's cute. I think it's a cute way of flirting, kind of. Really? Jared. <laughs> what if I was like, got your hat, and ran across the house? You'd be like, fuck you. I'm having a bad hair day. Well, I'm not, like, dating you. You wish. Period. She ate you the fuck up. No crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love when the lesbian mothers come out. That's my favorite part. I thought they came out a while ago. <laughs> uh, okay. They send you I miss you texts when you're not together. I like that. That's, That's cute. adorable. Wonderful. That's I so that. cute. I love being thought of. I would of. love to get an I miss you text. But like you just left. I like it. I like Even it. Oh, better. That's so That's cute. even better. Yeah. 
You like just leave. You're like, I miss you already. Oh, oh God. My I heart just it. melted. What about a, I miss Alyssa's you? Alyssa's face. She has the biggest stank face oh on right God, now. Oh, my God. You're a hater. Dude, what about no. an I love you nude? Or I miss you nude. Ooh. What? I like I'm, it. I miss you when you just bulge. I like it. The picture. I'm Does like, that happen? Ah! Yeah. yeah. Okay, I like well, it. I don't. I like it. I, I like I miss you mode. picture. You guys check your phones real quick, Steve. I don't want one from you. Uh, that's what you got, because I got one too. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bulge. I hadn't been privy to that information before. Oh. It says I miss you. Yeah. I miss you too. Thank you want to so touch? Much. No. I really thought you would have gone for that. Because you know that I would have come and put my ass on his fucking nose. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> what are we doing? I can't. Even, I just wanted to win. You did. You really won that one. You were speechless, right? My sniffer was uh, hyperventilating. Okay. Um, <laughs> How many group chats do you have? Not that they're all like work group chats. I don't have any like um, friend ones. No, because I feel like all my friends are like. Actually, I have one friend when it's like Jake and Johnny. Yeah, I, I feel like friend group is like high school vibes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in no friend group chats. I'm in one of them. And- actually, I'm lying. Okay. I'm totally lying. I'm in one. I'm in yeah. one singular one, and it's it's the craziest group chat ever. It's me, Larry, Jake, Johnny, Sam. I Colby. see Larry texting this group chat. I'm like, what the fuck? And the Sterniolo triplets. It's the, the craziest insane. group chat ever. And we call it the, like the title of it is the crossover episode because <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird and crazy. I'm obsessed. Yeah, that's the only one I can think of. He's jealous. No, we're. I'm in a group chat. Too. You're not in this one. Did you just check Make your phone? group then? chat? <laughs> yep. I don't want to keep checking my phone. <laughs> hey, group chat for friends. It's oh. me and Quinn. <laughs> your name on my phone is Tara Yum. That's cute. <laughs> Tara Yum. Yeah. I love it. I, you didn't put me in the group chat? I was for friends. Cool. Uh, you guys are cool, acquaintances cool, cool, cool. at best, remember? Yeah, Lovers. Yeah, yeah. No, we've never Lovers. made love. Lovers? We've like crossed. Have you guys ever kissed? No. no. Oh. Do it. No, <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> just bake. Okay, just do it. <laughs> Have you guys ever kissed? Do it. No. You guys should do it. No. See how it's weirder when I say it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. Yeah, I'm like, no. He's like, why would you even ask that? I'm just, just you know, reflecting. Um, gender equality, I guess. You say gender equality, I guess. <laughs> Sharing pasta like Lady in the Tramp. If it's in private, it's cute. In I've public, had a first kiss like that. Wait, aw. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. In private, it's cute. In public, I don't know. It's too much, maybe. What do you think? I think it's cute. That's so sweet how you had one of your first kisses like that. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's cute either way. Public probably or never private. see her again for their Really? Life. Like if I saw that in public, I would yeah, be like, "Yeah, but how awkward Fuck, is it to I put the that. other end in the other person's mouth? You're like, try to get it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. I was just thinking it's already there. No, already there is fine. But like to so like, you know what I mean? That's a lot. You know what oh. I think is cute? Like sharing milkshakes. Oh, that's very cute. this vibe. That's cute as hell. I've yes. always wanted to do that. Oh like my go to a diner and share a milkshake. That's like my. That's like, like a dream date. Dates. You got to do it soon. Soon. Mm-hmm. There's Mel's Diner down the street. I love Mel's. I would love to just go and like share the one of the Lana shakes, like the Lana Del Rey shakes. I put myself as tribute. Really? <laughs> How cute would it be if someone walked in? They were like, "Why are Quinn and Tara sharing a milkshake?" <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Because we're best friends for forever. Could you imagine if someone walked in and we were just like, <laughs> like uh, yeah, and I'm drinking my milkshake with my friend. The fuck. I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> flowers on Whoa. a first date. Flowers yeah. on a first date is wonderful. Oh, I love flowers yeah, on flower, a first date. Yeah, that's sweet. You can't go too large on the bouquet. Yeah. No, no, yes. no. A little bit of a, I've never gotten flowers on a first date. Oh! Do you, on a first date? Boo. What kind of flowers do you go on the first the, date? A uh, handful. Like, like, um, like sunflowers would be nice. Okay. Because you, you don't want to go roses, no, though. Like tulips. Yeah. The, I keep saying kind of, the hot way to do it. <laughs> It's an orchid. An orchid's really tasteful. Oh. But do you think that's a little too much? Like you're bringing an orchid for your house? No, because it's just like imagine the type of person that would know to get an orchid. Mm, yeah, that's really tasteful. You've I feel been like my mom orchid. always gets orchids when I like go to someone's house that's new. She's like, let's get him an orchid because yes. they last. Exactly. It's a very nice flower. Boom. Y'all got an orchid in here. I don't know if it's alive, but it looked like it. Yolanda Boom, got that. It's fake. <laughs> no, y- Yolanda got us an orchid when we came in. Is it, that real? It did die. Never watered it. Oh. It was very nice of her. <laughs> it was very nice. She's kind of like my second mom. Who's Yolanda? She grew up. Well, when I grew up, Yolanda. So I'm single mom. And then Yolanda was my mom's best friend. And then she oh, we okay. all lived together. Oh, fire. In oh, cool. Vegas. Shout out Yolanda. That's what, your that's mom, what my your mom. grandma calls my mom's partners. Oh, that's that's Julie's friend. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say, um, I think I've seen this film before. I These niggas is gay on the low. Gay, gay, gay. Gay on the low. I want to say that. I want to say <laughs> that. Banks me. I want to say it. 
<laughs> Wait, what was that from? Wait, the way you Because <laughs> I was like, you know when your mom lives with a friend? <laughs> no, my mom is straight. On the low. Who's going to tell him? <laughs> I'm just gay, gay, gay. Gay on the low. <laughs> Would you ever date a woman? Yes. Have you? Mm-mm. Not officially. Exactly. Because you hoes play each other. No, it was just a moment in time. And it passed. But I'd like to date a girl. Do I know her? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Would you tell me? Yes. Oh my God, I have to know. Yes. Savannah James? Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? LeBron LeBron's James' wife? wife? <laughs> that was a crazy intersection. I'm like, why do you know? Could you imagine the drama? <laughs> <laughs> I think we just got the best click bait ever. <laughs> okay. Out of all of us, who do we think is the least likely to participate in a threesome? Least like mm. you. Yeah, it's Amy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring ass. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would busy. say you too. Yeah, I, feel like, you've got, I feel like on. you've gotten offered and you say no. You've gotten offered and you've denied? Not denied, but I, I know he's been like. Hold on. Have you gotten an offer? Yes yeah. or no? Yes. I'm not going to say who. Zach gets bitches. Don't look at me. <laughs> who the hell am I supposed to look at? Not me. I wasn't supposed to. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the girls sitting to your right. Anyway. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. We'll talk about the podcast. Okay. It was uh, a jo- if we all it die- was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> if we all die today, who's most likely to end up in hell? Ooh, that's a good question. What's the Ten Commandments? Um, it's- Thou should not lie. <laughs> Thou should not cheat. Are you doing JoJo <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love her. Um, I think maybe not me would go to hell because I don't want to manifest that. <laughs> uh, I believe in hell. I feel like it's me. <laughs> No, I clocked that from the beginning. I just didn't want to like throw it out there without someone else kind of saying mm. it. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. You don't cuss. You don't drink alcohol. You don't. You don't cuss. No. <laughs> Have you ever heard him cuss? I would just. I just went through all the time. I know. <laughs> That's the thing is when I found out it was not that long ago, and I'm like, I've known you for a while, and I've never noticed. Whoa. Yeah. Should I do it? I do cuss a little. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to start a cult, like an actual real cult or a fun cult. I already have a cult. Zach. If so, if not you. I was going to say Quinn. Really? You'd be in that, uh, what was it called? The dark room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the darkness retreat. The dark room diaries or whatever it was. (laughs) The dark room. What? Bro. Oh, my God. Speed run. I went to a darkness retreat in Oregon. What's a darkness retreat? I'm about to tell you. They lock you. (laughs) Oh, that's the next (laughs) sentence. They they lock you you in a completely dark room. I stayed in there for three days. Met God, met the devil. Met all my fears. Met all my anxieties. You're lying to me. Do you have a safe word? No, you can leave. But girl, you chose to stay? Yes, because I signed up for it. It's like, do you take shrooms? And you're like, nah, actually, I don't want to do shrooms right now. It's like, I already put myself in the situation. Might as well do it. In a dark room? Yes, girl. Bro, I, I, saw I would be so fucked up after that. How oh, you- no, I came out. I came out after like, <laughs> and then I sat down. And how, they, how I found out about the darkness retreat is they record people removing their masks when they come into the light for the first time. Wait after- a second. You wore a mask the entire time? A blackout mask and a blackout for room. For three days? Yes. I didn't know what How did you eat? They would bring me meal prep every night so I couldn't count the time by them bringing me breakfast and lunch and dinner. So they would bring me meal prep and dinner every night. Shut up. Through a two-way. That's hell. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. And why why did you put yourself through that? To introspect. Because I feel like that's how you introspect. You either do a religion or you do some fucking ayahuasca. You do shrooms. How would you, you get feel, through a breakup, a heartbreak? How would you feel after three days they turn on the lights? I just go to Barney's for three nights straight and call it a day. See, I don't drink. So I need to do some. I need to figure something else out. Right. Yeah. After, after three so days, I locked myself in a room because I'm trying to feel just a grain of drunkness. Huh? After three days, they turn on the lights and you take off the mask and you just see me sitting there with night vision goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there the whole time. Like. <laughs> but listen to this. I take off the mask and they're recording. No, bitch. They're recording. <laughs> no. And, for, and this is the this is the silver lining of it all. I didn't even feel the camera on me at all for the first time. I just. I Sorry, I no camera, that. nothing. I just felt like I was talking to a person, which was which is crazy for someone who does influencing as a job. It's like you can feel cameras around you, but then <laughs> it didn't translate properly when they posted it on the internet because I'm joke girl, I'm funny girl, I'm the clown, I'm the court jester. When the court it's jester on the internet, yes, I oh, oh and yeah, it's, we and need it's to on pull Instagram this up. Reels. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the worst comments are. People are like, yes, we thought she would join a cult sooner or later. She's very susceptible to it. <laughs> All the comments are like, this girl is tweaking out of her mind. Someone get her some help. I'm like, I can see you so good. Now. I'm a crying. I'm like, <laughs> you're lying to me. It's, I, I need to see this. I'll show you. And then they put a nine minute video of it. No edits. 
Oh my on their YouTube God. channel. Yes. Wait, did you consent to that? Yes, I did. <laughs> I consented to it. I consented to it because I thought it was going to be cute and very like inspirational. No, girl. And then I met these people. You were people. tweaking. Yeah, I was tweaking. I met these people. They're like, we love God. We are serenity. We are. You know, like they were that vibe. So then I didn't want to tell them like take it down because they, they're they happy and nice. It didn't mean any ill intentions, the evil of the I internet. I need to see this. Can someone pull it up? Yes. Is but that possible? I, it's possible to pull it up if you type in Sky Cave Retreats. But the thing is, once I say pause it, like I literally can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It gets to a point where it's like cringe. Am mm. I putting you on the spot? No. Okay, okay. No, it's funny. I really want to see it's it. It's funny. I can laugh at myself, me. I can laugh at myself. <laughs> I need to see this. I did not know you did that. Yes. So for three days, you sit in a dark room? Yes, like go in the closet, <laughs> lock it. And they there. filmed the whole thing? No, they just filmed me coming out and oh. seeing light for the first time. And the thing is, humans need light. Oh. So I was literally I like, need to see this. I'm sorry. My every time I was suffering making you like- What's it called? On Instagram, Sky oh. Cave Retreats. And the thing is, when I saw light for the first time, no, no, no. Every time I would go to sleep and wake up, my body thought I went blind, so I'd have a panic attack. Oh, my God. It was oh, hardcore though. That's on, hardcore. Were you not? on shrooms all three days? No, no, I was on shrooms any of the days. I was raw dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was yeah. raw dog, raw in, the dog dark. in that dark room. <laughs> I thought you said you were shrooming, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. Oh, no, 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 girl. I, oh. Okay, no. Uh, okay. I'd kill myself. I'm so excited. Bro, you see the views on all the other ones? Uh -huh. So you walked out with the mask on out of the dark room? Yes. And this is the first time I've seen light in three Where are you? consecutive days, Oregon. Oh my gosh. Oh, do you see do you see me crying? Where? Bottom left. Do you see me? Oh, I see. <laughs> Two point three million. <laughs> Two point three million views. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I have to take off my earphones. Phone right now. <laughs> yes! I'm free from the slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's another one. There's another one. No Scroll way. down. Oh, look at the fucking thumbnail. Right there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I can't. I literally can't. I can't. I'm not listening to this one. When I'm existing in my day to day life, oh, I, can't, I, can't. I feel like I don't have time to feel things. But all I had was time. <laughs> and so I was able to feel some things deeply. Dramatic, I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I think that. I can't. Pause it. Pause it, Alyssa. No more. <laughs> Dude, that was the heaviest teardrop I've ever seen. That was insane. Oh my god. Oh my I'm, god. I'm I was sorry, so invested. I forgot like we were all here. I was like, like what is happening <laughs> to this sorry, poor I'm woman? Laughing. No, you can laugh. I literally saw the videos and my ex looks away. Oh girl. I literally <laughs> in front of the audience <laughs> that you like you did it yourself I did it myself. No. I'm like no and it's just me um yeah so I would be easily susceptible to join a cult <laughs> as you can see but it was actually one of the best experiences of my life no that was beautiful I just when don't I, can, I can't help, seriously yeah I can't help but laughing because you're not a serious person that's like if they saw me doing that I'm not serious at all so I feel like it's like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah Do you know what I mean? that's what happened oh my yeah. god once you're a clown you're a clown I get it I I want to see the rat. There's a, nine minute, there's a nine minute video on YouTube. If y'all want to see that in y'all's free time. If I ever have a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you ever have, have a good bad day. day. Yes, if you ever have a bad good day. day. Um, so. Next. <laughs> you actually left too, Doug. That's was, the things that make you laugh. Oh, it's was, people's despair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just cute, you know? It's like we've all been there. Who has the lowest standards? Don't look at me. What? Nah, I probably Jared. Jared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Well, <laughs> well, the high octave. Probably. <laughs> yeah, no, probably, definitely. Yeah. How bad? How bad? Not, like, not that not. bad, but I think out of all of us. I mean, you said breath and breasts. That's all you look for. <laughs> Why? That's just what I heard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I've never heard a woman just diminish to that level. Well, oh, I did. Breath say that. and breast. Yeah, I know. He's got a tattoo of it. It's weird. Um, least likely to be wearing underwear right now. Tara. Tara. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you commando? Not right now. I commando. A lot? Right now. So maybe it's, so maybe it's Quinn. No, I, no. We're talking about most likely. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, then, the, yep, the Both definitely. of you saying Tara at the same time was crazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> Jared, I'm sorry. Most likely to go in an orgy and not get laid. What? You can't preface that with Jared. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, him. Um, <laughs> most likely to like follow their partner around town because like, oh, they're definitely cheating on me. It's not me. I'm not really nosy like that. I'm not crazy like that. Would you ever do that? No. No. Go I'm like, I'm like, yeah. If you're gonna cheat on me, you're Enjoy. gonna cheat on me. Enjoy, my boy. God bless. Yeah, gotta go. Yeah, Godspeed. Enjoy. You. Maybe you. I would say you. Wow. That sounds like a lot of effort. Though. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get in my car. Gotta get my cyber truck and then go. Oh my god. Yeah. Cyber what's truck. the cyber truck about? It's just oh, new car. it's just my vehicle. So. Like as a bit or dead ass? No, dead ass. No, my yeah. dad has. It's my one daily too. driver. I don't like it. Yeah, Why not? Because it's like this. Is, we didn't agree on this as a society <laughs> to have this on the roads. It's they're just like any odd, other truck. But they're cool. They just make me kind of car sick. I Does see. It? I haven't even been in one. You want to get in one? Mm. Who is the least like their racial stereotype? I'm probably the most, if I'm being completely honest. Probably Tara. Me, probably. Yeah, I feel, I like, feel like I don't seem. I, I love being Persian, but I feel like I don't seem like I. I feel like right. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say that. Out of I feel all like I'm black. You like I give black girl. I wish I gave more Persian, but I feel like people um, see me and they're like, I don't really know what you are. Mm. Is your hair naturally that dark? No, my hair is lighter. Really? Yeah, I guess. This is me trying to be more Persian. <laughs> my hair is actually, we were just talking about this in the car, Alyssa. Do you have a picture of your natural hair? Yeah, you want to see? Yes, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's I also see. have curly hair. <gasps> yeah, oh. I get Brazilian blowouts. Oh! Why you just don't like dealing with it? I just don't like dealing with the frizz. If I had, if I had curly hair and it was beautiful, I would do it, but it's more like wavy frizzy. So mm. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna get it Brazilian because I blow it out every day anyways. This is a really old picture of me, but yeah, my hair's pretty light. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, thank you. This is a good picture. Whose parents are most disappointed in them? Not mine. You think yours? You think, really? You think your mom and dad are disappointed? They're really? I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell me good job. No. Really? I mean, my mom really, she definitely doesn't like the things I say. She as a hates the things. Christian thing. elementary school counselor. Yeah, but she's proud of you. Yeah, she's proud of me. And your parents are not? I think they're proud. Never heard it. No. Oh. Love them. Love them. And they love you. No. And they love me. I just don't think I've ever. It's okay. That's just eternally sad. <sighs> Can we change the cart, please? <laughs> sure. Uh, let's jump over to the after school special. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's let's fine. Do it. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. We're going to get, we get into the dicier stuff. We're not allowed to put on. I love Quinlan. I love Dara. On, on the Patreon. Uh, so head over there. Uh, seven day free trial if you get on there right now. And uh, we're going to, we're going to have it, keep it low key, but fun. Yeah, we are. We're going to pat some bellies. <laughs> That's a yummy tummy right there, huh? Indeed. Am I right, guys? Indeed. Um, all right. Remember, Boston Show. Take it in the description. And if you stay till the end, put in the comments which one of us you'd rather be in stuck in a jacuzzi with for 18 days. Okay, guys, and why. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was so sweet of an ending. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.